Okay, I am going to get this plan with me done before August starts. So let's get into it. Hello friends, I introduce myself. I'm Sherry Sherry's Plans. I share my planner ideas, reviews, and inspirations here on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. So check those out. The links will be in the description of this video. And in today's video, I am filming a plan with me for the month of August. And we are just jumping right into this thing. So it's, I don't know, like the last week of July, I've been... I'm ready to like just plan for, the, uh, first of all, I'm ready for summer to be over. I don't know about you all, but like here in Texas, it has been just like a high of 100 degrees for like, I swear, a month straight now. Like, it's ridiculous. I am over summer. I am ready for uh, fall, <laughs> cooler weather, which probably still won't come to Texas for who knows how long, but... I'm ready for it. I've also got like quite a bit of things to do in August here. I'm finishing up the term for my school, so I'm going to be probably not even posting or sharing as much. I'm going to be spending so much time trying to get some classes done for school. So, um, but I mean, like, I feel like I don't even have like a whole lot of stuff going on. Besides just doing school, which is, I guess, good in that sense. So, let's see. I'm going to lay these stickers down here and probably just fast forward through this a little bit. Okay, days of the week all laid out. Now we can get going with plans. Hmm. I'm trying to remember when paydays are. So, so far, the monthly spread in the A5 seems to be working. I guess I was, like, a little concerned with, like, the size and being able to have enough room for my plans, but I think it seems to be working so far. Hmm. However, I don't want to use this now. I think I'm going to have some extra days off this month. And I just realized I don't have enough of these yellow day off banners there. So I don't want to use them. Okay. My mom's birthday on that day. My school term ends there at the end of the month. So, like I said, I've got a lot of work and catching up to do. I'm finishing up probably two classes this week and then I have two more that I'm going to try to get done during that month, but we'll see about that. Let's put these day off stickers down. Yeah, so like I said, there's probably a good chance that I uh, might be a little bit more inactive for this month, but... I gotta get through this term. I do have a couple things planned for this month. I feel like this is a little bit of a slower month because some of the other um, companies that I'm gonna fill it with have already had like their big launches. Um, there are a couple launches coming up with products I'm gonna be reviewing. I'm not gonna put them in this book because I have my own separate like content planner and because of the size of this, I don't want it to get too cluttered with too much stuff. So August, 11th I'm going to be actually it'll probably come out before then I can't remember the exact date but August 11th is the launch of the plan by Lauren Truslow 
and she had reached out to me about reviewing some products for her launch coming up so i'm going to be doing that and then i think it was august 23rd the seasons by seasons daily planner from cultivate what matters is launching and i'm going to be doing a review of that product as well so there's a couple different reviews coming up which means i'll probably like focus on doing those so I might not have a lot of other content coming, which kind of, I mean, it's a bummer, but like it is what it is. And I've got um, priorities with school and stuff like that to take care of too. So, but I'm thankful because my um, manager has been trying to work with us and our schedules to like get us these extra days off every other week. And it looks like they've got a plan for that so I'm really thankful for that and um, it's definitely gonna help me out because I was thinking about using some more vacation time during this month to catch up on school stuff but now I'm gonna have like I could end up with like three extra days off this month so that's awesome I have also been loving putting my workout schedule in the monthly spread here because it reminds me like when I look at my the monthly spread to plan out my week that this is my plan and this is the routine and this is what we are doing on these days so I think I'm going to continue sticking these on here See, I knew when I would write this down that I wasn't going to leave enough room for all of my stickers. Actually, cool. Yep, it's right there. So. Okay, and then I have cycle stickers coming, and that's going to be Monday. My plan is cycling, but I am going to put down my walking the dogs on this day. I was going to try to fit. I have an exam scheduled on this day, too. Actually, I might be able to fit that on here because I knew I, well, I'm planning on having this day off, so I've scheduled one of my exams on that day. I usually try to schedule exams for like the weekends or something when I have the time off and the days off, but. Okay. Hope nothing else pops up on that day because that's a busy day. Okay. Uh, yeah, like I said, I've got cycle stickers coming and I don't want to use. I have so many stickers here from Monarch Plans. So I did want to get this done and everything in case you were looking at uh, buying some Planner Kate stickers. Uh, July 29th is I don't even have it on here. It's so July 29th is Planner Kate's 8th anniversary and so she's going to have 40% off all of her stickers. So these stickers, this monthly kit that I'm using is a Planner Kate kit. They've She's got them like for every month. Actually, that's probably a good idea. I might pick some of those up um, during the sale too. But she has monthly kits in the A5, 7x9 size. I've got these um, script stickers. All these script stickers here from her, except for the Walk the Dogs, were from uh, Monarch Plans. And, oh yeah, this sheet right here, I bought this sheet as well to, like, match the colors of the kits here. Oh, I was going to show you. I, okay, so a couple things. I... Um, had stopped using monthly kits for probably like the last couple years because I didn't feel like I was using the monthly spreads enough and I had been using um, Erin Condren's sticker book 
which I could definitely still like decorate and use some of these stickers here as well. But I do, since I'm using the A5 size, some of these stickers are kind of bigger, but these are really, I might decorate with some of those stickers because they're really cute. Since I'm an affiliate for Planner Kate, I thought I should, I thought, I thought it'd be fun, more fun to decorate and use Planner Kate kits on the monthly spreads as well. I don't have to do anything for Planner Kate, um, but <laughs> I do love the kits. So I don't have to do anything for Planner Kate, but I absolutely love her shop and stickers and all that. So I thought it'd be fun to use uh, kits, start using kits again. And using these ones that match the colors, the Erin Condren colors, like makes me happy too. Um, I want to show you guys this page. So this is what I set up to use for my dashboard page. I honestly like haven't used much of my dashboard page from July and but that's not going to stop me from planning on using it for August. So here we are. This is a doodle sticker from Planner Kate as well. I have bought these. Um, these are also like wonderful to decorate with too but these doodle sheets she's got one for like every month and I've pulled out some of the stickers already here for like other things but uh yeah these are wonderful to decorate with as well so I bought that this is the dashboard sheet here and again it fits the A5 size it's in the color blend and I just used the washi strip that it came with for to cover up these areas here and then I'm starting the spinning tracker too I use some of the Star Wars washi from Erin Condren up here, but I am saying it now, throwing it out there. I am going to try for a very low spend August because July has gone out of hand a little bit. And I, I don't want to say no spend because I know that we'll be spending, but I'm going to try a more of a very low spend and I think think my goal might be to like I said very low spend but I might only buy like planner Kate like kits when she releases um October kits the beginning of August I should put that down here too because I think that's oh I, I hope it's not the third I don't know let me check so I it looks like planner Kate has new release on this day Hmm. I'm already biting my tongue on the low spin because <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll just try to be like a little bit more cautious and aware. Like I've been buying and trying out a lot of different shops, a lot of new shops. And I love that. I love supporting small businesses and these small shops. But I have also just been spending a lot lately. So... I think I'm going to try to try to ran it back a little bit, but I was just thinking I've got this new release coming out, but Fern Creek stickers is also going to have a release and they're releasing um, October kits. And I absolutely love October kits and Halloween and all that. And I usually buy way too much for Halloween. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but I know I just remembered Fern Creek stickers still hasn't released their, anniversary box and that should be coming very soon and I she hasn't announced anything yet so I don't think it's going to happen before the end of July which means it's going to happen in August and that's just more money I'm going to spend <laughs> but I don't know I've been waiting for that box too for a while now so <sighs> anyways it is what it is um I should try hmm maybe Maybe I'll make this like a no spin like calendar box. Let me see what I can find here for it. All right, I'm just gonna plug more Planner Kate stickers you can buy. But I just found this, um, I have these calendar sheets here. So there is no yellow, is the closest thing the orange? But if I use the orange, I think I might just use one of these other colors. Hmm. Just check this. Because if I continue to do this in like October or something like that, I don't want to take like 
the orange sticker that I could use for October. So this kind of matches the uh, whole color blends vibe colors there. Okay. And then I... I also absolutely love this font from Planner K, and I think it's discounted, discontinued or something, but I swear I have... You can still buy customs of it, which I do occasionally too. So... But I feel like I have a... No spend. So I think what I might do is we'll track this no spend here. And then maybe we'll track like, I don't know. I can't track no spins on here. There's way too much stuff. I might track no spins on there. Do something. I don't know. I'll figure out something to track. Anyways, there's my no spend calendar. I could put it down here with the habits, but I also kind of wanted it like by itself. So that will work. Cool. Okay. Yes, I'm excited now. Okay, so I think that is all for August. Like I said, I really don't have a lot planned, but I like putting my workout schedule on here and decorating that. And anyway, hmm. I need to find something for like launch day. Hmm, I'll have to think about this, but I want to put something here and like to like signify like there's something going on that day, but it's not in here. How about I use like these message bubbles? Or these push pins. Hmm. Maybe I might try these for now. I lied. I think I want to try the push pins because for one, it's more like fits the back to school theme vibe. And these will remind me that I have something pinned for that day, I guess. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Anyways, there it is. There's my monthly layout. There's the dashboard page with the spinning tracker and everything. Yep, I think that's it. That's all I've got. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, monthly plan with me for the month of August. Um, I, like I said, I will do my best to continue providing um, content and stuff like that throughout the month of August. Just it is going to be a little bit busier time um, for me. So thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone.